All right, this is Firemind here, and today I am going to show you how to switch weapons with literally four lines of code. So, very easy tutorial, very quick tutorial, and if a switch between two different weapons is what you're looking for, guess what? You came to the right place. So, let's enjoy. Okay, so we start off in a very basic scene here. I basically do have two weapons right here, which are attached to my main camera, which I use in this game to switch between. So I have this gun here, and then I have my other gun, which I call portal gun, because guess what? It's gonna shoot portals. And then we have the laser gun, who, as you guessed, shoots lasers. So I wanna switch between them. So this tutorial is going to be very, very easy. I'm actually going to code the code I'm going to, we're going to need for this. Uh, I also provided the whole code on the website, firemindacademy.net. You can find the link for this particular tutorial in the description below. So if you don't want to write a line of code, that's fine. Just hop over there and copy the code. So what I basically want to do is I want to switch between these two. Two. In order to group them a little bit better, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a empty game object and I'm going to call this weapons. So I'm going to drag my both of my weapons under the weapons game object uh, and that way they're just grouped a little bit nicer and I can attach the script that I'm using for switching between those weapons on this one. Now let's add that script. Let's go to add script and now call this weapon... I don't know, switcher. Once you have that created, click on that icon here and click on edit script. Now in here you start off with the regular functions. First things first, we do not need that start function and the only thing we need here is the update function. So. Let's give this a thing where we check which key is down. So this is going to be the key uh, that is going to be used to switch between weapons. I'm going to use Q for that. So what you have to do is you have to enter key code and then the letter you want to do. So if you want to switch on A, you're going to use A. I'm going to switch on Q here. Okay, so that's that. And so if that's pressed, we want to switch weapons. So, uh, we don't have that function yet, so let's make it. So let's go down here and hit the switch weapons. Now we have that, and the only thing we need to do here is we need to iterate over the childs that we have. So let's do that. So we're gonna go for each, transform, then this is gonna be the weapon that we selected in transform which is the object itself now as you can see in here I enabled one of them and disabled one of them so that's always how you want to start off you want to start off with the one that you uh, have by default enabled and the rest of them disabled or well this only works with two weapons so don't please don't try this with more weapons it's just to switch between two primary weapons uh, we can essentially add something to like add extra weapons on a different key, but this is not meant to be like to scroll through. This is just to switch between two weapons. Now, in here, what we want to do is we just want to add one line of code, which is we take the weapon uh, and then go for the game object and then do, do set active. Now, we could now check if it's active before or whatever, but the simplest way to go about this is to just um, take the game object itself and see what it has. So, um, active self. So let's say it is true. This would actually set it to true, which makes no sense. So we wanna um, take, may always switch it to the opposite. So this will, if it's true before, it will then be false. And if it's false before, it will then be true. Makes sense, right? So that's all we need. That's that's it. That's the code. Uh, smart, short, and elegant, right? So once you hit save on that, what you're gonna see is when I go to my game and press Q, it's gonna switch between those two. And yeah, I haven't attached anything to the portal gun yet. I'm about to do that today. 
So yeah, but that's how you switch between two weapons. I think my next tutorial is going to be on how to actually animate the switch a little bit. Should be pretty easy as well. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that. If you like this tutorial, please leave me a like. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments down below. And if you want to see more tutorials, please consider subscribing. Also, if you have any request for a tutorial, can't find the tutorial you are looking for? Well, just ask for it then. Just go to tutorial-request.com and check out if other people are searching for the same tutorial as you do. If you find a matching request, make sure to leave it a like, so other creators always know what's in demand. And if you can't find a request that you are looking for, just create a new one. Simply click on New Request, then choose a title, topic, and description for your request, and simply click on Make Request, and you're done. It's that easy. And with your request, you help creators know what's in demand. So go over to tutorial-request.com and sign up today. It's free.